Hi guys, welcome to my channel and this is the look I will be doing in this video. So I'm just getting done with my eyebrows then we'll move on to our eyes. As my base, I'm using NARS eyeshadow base and this is my all-time favorite. My eyes are very oily so this is the only eye base I use now because I've tried others and it doesn't work like this one. So for my transition shade, I'm mixing these two from the Kat Von D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette and I'm just swiping it. It doesn't really have to be perfect. I'm just setting my eyeshadow base because it can get kind of sticky. And moving on to my chocolate bar. I'm grabbing this color in the corner. It's like a bronze, brown, orangey, shimmery color. I'm starting at the outer edge. I'm just blending it in. And I blend a lot in this video just because I don't want any harsh um, shadows. I'm also blending it to the all the way inner corner. And I'm taking this matte um, peach color to soften the harsh edges on my eyeshadows. And keep in mind that I'm using very light hand when I blend. I'm taking the first color that we used on the bottom eyelashes I'm using um, a smaller brush to apply this and just going halfway to the inner corner next I'm grabbing grabbing this gold color putting it on the inner corner and meeting the darker brown And also putting this gold color on the center of my eyelid and I think this brown color and this gold color mixed together creates this rose gold illusion and it's so beautiful I'm grabbing this highlight color putting it on under my eyebrows only halfway also grabbing it and putting it right on my inner corner and I'm just blending more I'm blending with a blending brush and without any eyeshadow just a clean brush and curling my eye eyelashes before I do any eyeliner work because you know why and this is actually my first time using this eyeliner my, one of my friends gave it to me so it's very sharp actually and it's very defined, very black. It's from South Korea. So it's my first time using it and loved it. It didn't smudge because I have that problem. I'm going in with my Stila pencil eyeliner and just fixing any gaps, um, running it along my waterline, just making it even more black. I'm grabbing this brown shimmery eyeliner and this is my favorite way to do my bottom eyelash line because I don't like the harsh look of black eyeliners on my bottom eyelash so it's a very nice way to make it more smokier and still look natural and I put some eyelashes on by Ardell this is the, the double wispies and now I'm going to contour my nose using Urban Decay Buck. It's a matte, like a contour color, and this is the perfect color to contour your nose with because it's not too orange and it's not too gray. It's kind of the perfect color. So for my face, I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, and this is the medium. And I'm just using a Morphe brush to blend it into my face. I like to use this Morphe brush because it's not too harsh but still gives a lot of definition and it's so soft and this is the elite edition I, I'm guessing. And so here I'm just zooming out and 
this is what it looks like as of now but I'm going to do blush and this blush by NYX is a nice rose gold shade and it goes perfectly with this look I'm using a Morphe angled brush this is the brush that Jaclyn Hill loves so much on her blush so I had to have it and lining my lips with Lancome Sheer Natural Pencil Liner and my lips are kind of uneven so I just make sure it's even before I apply any lipstick and this is NYX Cream Suede Liquid Lipstick it's not it's matte but it's not drying which I love because I have such a dry lips it's it's horrible and then on top of that I'm putting CoverGirl lipstick and this is like a gold orange shade and here is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will talk to you guys in my next one so bye